will be pleased to hear our Glucor RX ADEX CGM system is factory calibrated and is a no fingerprint testing device. However, Glucor RX understands having the option to calibrate for peace of mind is a desirable feature in a CGM, which is why we have installed a calibration function into our Glucor RX ADEX app. If you are calibrating your Glucor RX ADEX sensor, it is essential you follow our top tips for calibration success. Before we go through these recommendations in detail, let's cover the reasons as to why it's so important to get calibration correct. When you have been finger prick testing with a glucose meter, you have been using a numerical blood glucose value to manage your health. However, we are not measuring blood glucose with our GlucoRx Ajax CGM. We are measuring glucose in the interstitial fluid. Interstitial fluid is the fluid that sits in between your cells to import energy or export waste products from your cells. Your blood circulatory system delivers all the nutrients, including glucose, to your cells. The glucose molecules must pass through the blood vessel wall and into the interstitial fluid before they can be used by your cells for energy. Therefore, it is likely there will always be a difference between your blood glucose and sensor glucose readings because of the time it takes for the glucose molecules to pass through the blood vessel wall and into your interstitial fluid. With all this in mind, our recommendations for calibrating with glucor ADEX are as follows. Only calibrate your GlucoRx ADEX sensor when your glucose levels are stable. The optimal time for calibration is first thing in the morning before breakfast when you're in a state of fasting. The difference between your blood glucose and sensor glucose reading should be minimal at this point and will set you up correctly for the day. Our second recommendation is not to calibrate your GlucoRx ADEX CGM if your glucose levels are increasing quickly. Say for example if you've just eaten a meal or had a fizzy drink that's high in sugar. This is because there will be a noticeable difference between your blood glucose and sensor glucose results due to the lag time discussed a moment ago. If you were to calibrate your GlucoRx ADEX system whilst your glucose levels were increasing quickly, your GlucoRx ADEX app will recalibrate your sensor glucose to your current blood glucose value and it will result in an inflated high and high sensor glucose results moving forward. Following on, please also do not calibrate your GlucoRx ADEX CGM if your glucose levels are decreasing quickly for example, just after exercise. As already mentioned, there will be a noticeable difference between your blood glucose and sensor glucose results due to the exchange lag time. If you calibrate our GlucoRx ADEX system whilst your glucose levels are decreasing quickly, your CGM will show a heightened low moving forward. For best user experience, here are a couple other pointers to remember when calibrating. Do not calibrate your GlucoRx ADEX CGM within the first 24 hours. Give our device time to settle in and start generating results. Also, please ensure you are only calibrating once a day maximum. In summary, if you would like to calibrate your GlucoRx ADEX CGM, we recommend not calibrating within the first 24 hours, only once a day maximum in the morning before breakfast. This way you'll be in a fasting state and your glucose level is steady. We encourage you to use our GlucoRx HCT meter for calibration purposes for the most accurate results. We also advise you to test your blood glucose reading with a GlucoRx HCT meter if the GlucoRx ADEX app is displaying a result that is not representative of how you feel. If you have any further questions regarding the optimal times to calibrate, please do not hesitate to watch our how-to videos online or contact either your local GlucoRx representative or our dedicated customer care team. Our free phone number to call is 0800 007 5892. That's 0800 007 5892.